Austin, Daytona 500 champion, what's it like letting that sink in and what was last night like for you? Right now, everything is still sinking in. It's pretty cool to see this car behind me. I really want to like hug it and talk to the car like because um, I feel like I didn't I didn't do crazy things like yesterday. It just kind of came to us and our plan was to keep a, the car clean and have an opportunity at the end. And if you look at it, there's not really a whole lot of scratches on it. It's pretty clean. The only thing that happened was after I slid through the grass, I blew out the tires and it bent the quarter panel. It's amazing. It's cool to see it sitting right here. What goes through your mind when you compare 20 years to, to last night? Man, I look like a stud right here in this picture. Like I'm like, I'm well, feeling myself, You obviously. got the pose down. Oh yeah, I'm just like stone cold, like yes. And this one, I'm like, did I just win? I was probably more confident then, and then you get beat down, and then you're just happy, you know, elated for your guys at this point. And then, obviously, the burnout. You and you and Pop Pop worked out a deal there. I guess, was that pre-race that, that if you won it, you had to slide through the grass like Dale? Some people said that my burnout looked like a three in the grass. That was cool. Um, I didn't, like, plan any of that, but... Yeah, my, my grandfather the night before went to dinner and he's like, I had to watch that 98 500 before we went to dinner. And uh, I always loved watching it. And he was like, now look, if you win, you have the opportunity, you need to slide through the grass. And I was like, okay, so down the back stretch, I actually started putting the front brake in to do a burnout. I was like, no, 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 I gotta go through the grass. And when we went through the grass, it, uh, it felt good slide through there. Your first two wins, first one coming to the Coke 600, now you have a Daytona 500. What does it say to you that you know that your first two races are big crown jewel events? I'd like to win just some regular races too, <laughs> but uh, these feel great. I, I like to win the big ones, and there's a lot that goes along with these. So, how long do you get to enjoy this win, or, or when do you have to shift your focus to the playoffs? Because you guys qualified last night with this 500 win. We'll be focused on other races as soon as we get to them, Atlanta. We got a lot uh, with the Camaro Z01 this year in, in the Chevy Cam to run with, so still want to go out there and perform and, and do well with these guys. They didn't come just to win one trophy. They came to win a lot. Congrats, man. 60th running of Daytona 500. Thank you.